What's going on guys, Living Zombies here, back with another Pokemon Go video, and in today's video guys, as expected, Pokemon Go did post their March content update, so now we know what raid bosses to expect in March, also spotlight hours, and main events too, so let's go ahead and get into it guys. So off the rip, their first picture on their Twitter was this featured pokemon we see shadow raikou with the shiny available same goes for the shadow mewtwo and we have primal kyogre and Groudon. so all four of those will be in raids in the month of march which is actually insane so the raid bosses are absolutely stacked for march and also Zarude, a returning mythical Pokemon, a pretty rare one too. A lot of you guys I know are missing this Pokemon. Zarude will be featured in March too. So we'll get into that here in just a second. But first things first, let's talk about the five star raids, mega raids too. Five star raids for the month of March. Who do we have first? We do have Tapu Koko. I am definitely okay with this because I have been missing the Tapus in raids. It's been like over a year since the Tapus have been in raids. So I will happily take more shinies of the Tapus. So Tapu Coco, March 1st to March 14th. And then pretty random one, Regice from March 14th to the 21st, which I, I do like Regice. I'm not going to do too many raids for it. I do prefer these Tapus. Uh, but Tapu Lele will be after Regice from March 21st to April 4th. 10 a.m local time by the way is the starting point for these raids now for the mega raids we have mega septile from march 1st to the 14th and then mega tyranitar from the 14th to the 21st and mega venusaur from the 21st to the 4th of april now with those tapus tapu coco and the tapu lele they are getting their signature attacks nature's madness that is a move dedicated for the tapus so that move is a brand new move on these tapus it will be dealing 80 power and trainer battles and can lower the opponent's pokemon's defense and 90 power in gyms and raids so yeah you can only get those from those newly captured raid bosses in the raids during this time or you guys can use an elite charge tm on an old tapu coco or tapu lele and i'm sure the other tapus might come out next month and they're going to have that move set too now on to the main events for march we do know what march 3rd is going to be and that will be a charged up research day now i'm going to tell you guys this right now the promo picture for this event did get data mined and it did feature pokemon such as helioptile chinchow blitzel and joltik so all of those could be in research um, or some of those they might mix match here they might put some in research and make some of them featured spawns during the event so yeah some of those will be shiny boosted and research tasks and some of those will be full odds pokemon spawns during that event on march 3rd from 2 p.m to 5 p.m so yeah not too bad of a research day there we just have to wait for more details about that event to see which ones will be shiny boosted and to remember the pokemon horizons event does take place on march 5th which does debut captain pikachu and the charcadet family and then march 14th to the 18th weather week i think we've had a weather event before um so this event might be pretty decent it could feature the cast forms could feature a few other pokemon in there too um so that will be like a four or five day event right there and march 16th is the sea day we still don't know what that's going to be that's not going to get announced until i think next week uh but we do have two raid days for march a raid day for primal kyogre and a raid day for primal groudon so kyogre is first on the 17th and then the 23rd is primal groudon so yeah shiny kyogre and groudon if you guys are missing them this will be your best chance to get them they will have a one in ten shiny rate in these primal raids so you guys can get some primal energy and a shiny boosted chance of kyogre and groudon during those raid days so i'm pretty okay with the raid day too for those primals i'm down for that now march 21st to the 25th is a brand new event and this is the event that does feature zarud right so verdant wonders and zarud ticketed events so you will have to buy a ticket i would say it's going to be anywhere from five to eight us dollars to buy a research ticket for a special research to encounter zarud we've had this before i think when it first came out i think it was free back in the day so now it's paid for uh so this is pretty similar to caldeo where we had to buy a special research to encounter caldeo so it's pretty much that same thing here so yeah i would say anywhere from five to eight us dollars will be the price for that zarud ticketed special research and then march 27th to march 31st is world of wonders 
taken over so i think that might be a team rocket takeover i mean it sounds like it right taken over i think it might be a team rocket takeover and another reason why i say that is because shadow mewtwo does return for a raid weekend during that event so this could be another team rocket takeover already so that's kind of crazy because i feel like we just had one right was that like late january i think so yeah we are i guess possibly getting another team rocket takeover so we might get new shadow shiny pokemon already in the month of march so that is something to look out for too and of course raid hours for tapu coco on the 6th and 13th for coco and regis on the 20th and tapu lele on march 27th now our last thing to talk about guys is spotlight hours so the first one we can probably all skip uh it's palmy so i'm skipping that one for sure i have enough palmy nidoran female on the 12th with two times catch stardust bonus and then after nidoran female there will be a spotlight hour that does feature four different pokemon volpix poliwag snow runt and hippopotas so march 19th that's a day after the weather week so those could have been some weather week featured spawns there because they do all have different typings um so those could be featured spawns for that event possibly so that yeah that's on march 19th four different pokemon for a spotlight hour that's pretty crazy and then the 26th will be a hop it spotlight hour with two times catch candy and then of course confirmation right there again shadow raikou with the shiny will be available for every weekend in the month of march except the last weekend because that is a mewtwo raid weekend so you guys can start going for shadow shiny raikou starting this saturday local time march 2nd and i do believe the raids will hatch as soon as raids start spawning in which is around like what 6 7 a.m local time so yeah this saturday local time you can start getting shadow shiny raikou here in pokemon go so guys let me know what are your thoughts for the march content update what are you guys most excited for is it Zarude? because i know a lot of you guys still need that pokemon or is it shiny tapu coco shiny tapu lele brand new shadow shiny raikou shadow shiny mewtwo let me know in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed drop a like in the video subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one peace